Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. I've got a real quick video today. Um, Sarah Mendez uh, left a comment on one of my videos asking if there are any other options other than using, like, latex for protecting around your fingers and cuticles when you do nail art, like smushies, water marbles, gradients, and that so sort of thing. So, we used to use tape. <laughs> and I'm going to real quick show, because it's been a million years since I have shown this on my channel. And what you do is you get a little piece about that long. That is long, I guess, is my pinky, or your pinky. And you start on one side, and you just get as close to the cuticle as you can. Wrap it around the tip, and then back up the other side as close as you can. You can use scotch tape, you can use washi tape, you can use whatever tape you've got. And then that protects that part of it. And then you would take another piece, about the same length, maybe a little longer, and then you would start it and kind of roll it around like that. And I would always mush mine down just to make it more finger-like. Now, it's not totally protecting everything. You're still going to have a little bit of cleanup to do, but not near as much. So, you can see there, that's pretty good. And you get, you get real good at even covering that little bit. You can even take another piece of tape if you want <laughs> and do it. It's, it's, you know... And then to get it off, I used to would grab mine with my tweezers and take it, or you can do scissors. Let me grab my little... My little scissors. So you got some of those like little nail scissors and you can just like trim up underneath it without cutting yourself of course. And then you can grab it with your tweezers or if you've got a spot that didn't have polish on it underneath you can just grab it like that and peel everything off. There you go. That is uh, how, you, how you used to do it and how we used to do it. And how it can still be done. Um, I can guarantee you if I run out of latex, I'm going to be still doing nail art. So I would definitely use the tape trick. And I had to buy me one of these big honking tape dispensers. Cause I'm so that is like it that. for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you miss the tape days or if you're tickled to death to be able to use latex. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.